okay and this is the uh, network for the LAN2 you, you have to port the network for the LAN2 okay 0 slash 24 okay action you can choose the uh, routing okay and then for me I'm already to add the LAN2 to the ISP2 okay for you you can put the name and select okay okay uh, okay already show address okay okay IP address wait okay sorry um tied the wrong of the network address for the LAN2 okay already okay this is the main goal uh, rule okay that we have to put the connection map okay connection map routing okay pre routing okay and then we go to the uh, IP okay IP route and add route again okay add route again for the ISP1 okay okay and then and uh, in this uh, routing map you select okay you can select the uh, this is the name of of the routing map uh, routing uh, map routing that we create okay in the main goal okay that was to the ISP one okay okay there you see okay, and then you add one more okay two okay and uh, routing map select the uh, Lan two to the ISP two, okay, for the gateway. This is the, the way, okay, that uh, you can select the way from the Lan two to the ISP two. Okay, you can see this is the default route for the routing map. Okay. Okay, and then uh, after you create already for the mark routing in the main goal. Okay, for our step stage, step stage. Okay, and then um, go to the testing, ping to the internet. Okay, okay, this is the gateway of the. This okay, this is the uh, DNS server for the Google. Okay, and then um, go to the lens one and then two and ping to the Google, DNS Google for the. Okay, and then I'm um, go to the uh, ping. Okay, ping to a dot a dot a dot. Okay. okay. Uh, connection reply from the a dot a dot a dot a. Okay, this is a uh, land one. Okay, and then I'm um, go to the land two. Okay, this is a LAN2. Okay, and then I'm um, also to the DNS server Google. Okay, reply also connection from the Google DNA. Okay. Okay, and then we uh, um, to show you how to know about the way that the LAN1 go to the SV1 and uh, the LAN2 go to the SV2. Okay, you can type the command uh, threshold if you want to know the way that the traffic from the LAN1 go to the SV1. Okay, and type the command threshold for to know the way that the LAN1, which way that LAN1 go to. There you see. Okay, the LAN1 go to the ISP1 for the gateway. Okay, and then I'm go to the LAN2. Okay, this is the LAN2 and press it also to the DNS Google. Okay, that you see. Okay, for the LAN1, the traffic go to the uh, ISP1 by the gateway from the ISP1. Okay, that you see. Okay. 203.1.1.2 and for the LAN2, the traffic go to the ISP1, ISP2. Okay, this is the public IP. Oh, this is the gateway from the ISP2. That you see, 2021.1.2. And then we go to the uh, 
diagram that you see. Okay, this is the gateway from the ISP one. Okay, that we see the land one, the, the traffic from the land one go to the multi router gateway. Okay, uh, to the, the to this IP and to go to this uh, gateway that you see. Okay, so you. Okay, again. Okay, from the window HP clan one for the land one you can see the traffic okay the traffic from the land one go to the this IP gateway from the uh, multi router internal gateway okay and then from the multi router to the ISP2 ISP1 that you see this IP this is IP the gateway from the ISP1 okay so land one go or uh, it's working it's right for the way that we order we order from the land one go to the multi router and go to the ISP2 ISP1 okay and then we go to the land 2 okay and go to the land 2 address it also okay this is the window client xp3 for the land 2 okay okay and then you see the traffic from the land 2 go to the this IP gateway okay and then go to the uh, gateway from the ISP2 okay so it's correct for the driver from the LAN2 to the ISP2 okay that you see okay this one for LAN1 go to the ISP1 okay this one for the LAN2 go to the ISP2 okay and then I'm testing to this image cable from the ISP1 and then I'm going to the internet to go again. Okay. okay, and then I'm go to the ISP. I'm disconnect uh, the ISP one for testing. Uh, the connection is still working or not? User can still uh, uh, land one can still set to the uh, uh, website or not? If the connection from the ISP one down. Okay, and then I'm go to the interface. Okay. Okay, and then I'm go to this one. Okay. Okay, and then I'm go to the ISP one. I'm disconnect connection from the ISP one. Okay, this is all. Okay. Okay, when I'm disabled, I'm go to the CMD. Okay, and check again. Okay, for the ISP two connection still working. Okay. Okay, and then for the I uh for the LAN two. Okay, sorry for the LAN two connection still working. Still access to the internet by the DNS server. From the Google, and right? then I'm go to the uh, land one thing again. Okay, the the connection still working also when the connection from the ISP one down. User user or land one or land two still access to the website because uh, take over to the land two uh, to uh, because take uh, over to the ISP two. Okay, and then I'm um, go to the threshold again to the okay. okay that you see okay for the land one traffic go to the ISP two because the ISP one down uh, and uh, ISP two uh, take over from the ISP one so land one the traffic from the land one go to the ISP two. Okay, and then I'm go to traces uh, from the ISP uh, from the LAN two to the internet also. Okay, and that you see, okay, traffic from the LAN one and LAN two go to the ISP two because uh, ISP one down. Okay. Okay, and then I'm uh, ping again and and I'm go to the app the ISP one. Back okay, and then I'm go to the app ISP one back okay, okay, 
Okay, definition still access the same before. Okay, that you see the draft is still active. ISP one active and ISP two active also. Okay, that you see the bit first game is running. Okay, and then I'm um, go to testing uh, pressure again for the I uh, land one go to the ISP one or not. Okay. Okay, that you see. Okay, when the as we want back to the normal connection, okay, for the land one, I set to the ISP one, okay. That you see, you see the get day from the ISP one, okay, and then I'm pressure from the land two, okay, for the land two, uh, the driver go to the ISP two, okay, uh, land one, go to the ISP one by this gateway, okay, and land two. Go to the ISP2 by this gateway. Okay, and in this video, it's uh, already for the country uh, uh, migrated load sharing for the uh, land one to the ISP1 and for the land 2 to the ISP2. Okay, uh, we can pick uh, successfully and uh, working for in this video. Okay, and in this video, I'm finished only this one, and I hope all of you. Uh, Help me to like, comment, and share over my uh, my video. Also, uh, my channel is a Cisco, Cisco Triangle, or you can add one more for my channel, my Cisco Learning. Okay, thank you for watching my video.